So, I cannot. Oh, there it go, I don't know the game. So, so, stop doing the so. So, <laughs> uh, back again. Because um, I can't sit still. I do one thing, I have to find something else to do. And I've turned, sort of turned this into my wee um, sort of office at the moment. Got my, my PC down in there. So ideally I would like to, f down the line, what I want to do is have a power supply maybe over there somewhere. Because um, at the minute I'm running from there, putting an extension cable down around the back there, over in. Just so there was no cables lying around here. Um, but yeah, because my plan is to use this when I'm away, like when I'm at home as my wee office as well. But anyway, that's not what today's video is about. Helps if I turn around the right way. Ta da! I think that right is probably back to front. But um, direct the plastic. I was on doing a lot of research on this. Originally, I was going to just roller this. I've seen people have done that. And then this is the same company, Rustoleum, that I used for the, the cooker and stuff. Um, so what I'm going to do here, I'm going to test it on a tiny bit, see how we do. Now, I plan to get rid of this. So I'll spray a bit in there to see how it looks. Now, it says on it that you don't need a primer. But I've seen some people online use the primer. Um, so I'll give it a spray. I'm going to spray in here and we'll see how it looks. It's probably the best thing to do. So. Oh, it's doing a good shake, it says. Shake, 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 sonora. Shake, good on time. Don't know if that's how it works. But, uh, so. Well, that didn't come out good. I don't know what that top bit was about, but... Hmm. Did not know what happened there. A big splodge just came out at the start. It's probably why it's a good idea to... So, I'm going to do up here, actually. Don't like how that's running. Mm. Yeah, I'm not, not sure on this at all. Anyway, well, I'm gonna spray all inside there and see, okay? Two seconds. Um, no, I'm not a fan of this. I think I should have went for the other brand instead of that. Not the other brand, there was a rust -Oleum, like, multi-purpose gloss white. I think that might have been better. I don't know, we'll see how this dries and how second coat goes on before I touch any of this. Um, yeah. We'll see. So I came back and yeah, no. Not for me, maybe for somebody who's actually good at spraying. I was just expecting it to be like that all rust iron product where it would just spray it and it's grand. Whereas this is more what I think spray paint and stuff is like where you get runs and stuff. Um, in terms of I, it's set, like, it could be good. I suppose maybe if I did a couple of coats, I don't know, or practice, but I'm gonna go around and just get the one I did use before, um, and we'll try that. So, if you're looking to do your toilet, do not use the direct to plastic one. When spraying goes wrong, part two. <laughs> um, she got a big fancy voiceover for there, but right, I've got this. This is the ornate gloss black. 
for the cooker. So we'll see it the white slate, but we'll test it. I've got a bit up in there, we'll test it on. So get this opened. Slide, slide where? Oh, up. So, we'll give it a good shake, yeah. All right. Okay, it covers a bit better. Still getting the runs. Mm. I didn't really get runs doing the cooker and stuff. I don't know. Looks like look, that's running there badly. I don't know if it's because I'm too close. Spread it in there, but... Hmm. I think maybe it was just too close when I spread that first one. Well, you know what? Risk it for a biscuit. Um, worst case scenario, we just paint it and sand any runs out and respray it. But I just don't know. Is it worth trying? I need to give it all a good rub down, get it all cleaned. So I'll do that. Because what I'll do is I'll spray it all and then I'll reseal it around the sides. I'm hoping to be able to take this out. Um, so yeah, that's what we'll do. We'll cut, the, I'll clean it all up, and I'll give it a go. Maybe get a wee brush and see if there's any runs. Then I can just. You know, because there is okay. It started to run a wee bit, but... Yeah, we'll try and see. Okay, so we're going to just give this all a good clean. Um, regret this, I have a feeling I'm going to regret it. And what we'll do, we'll start with the floor first I think. Um, 
So, I think the key is not to go so close. I'm gonna put a mask on. I thought COVID times were over and the masks were done, but here we are. <laughs> right. So let's go see how it looks after the first coat. Nope. So let's go see how it looks after the first coat. Okay, wow. Oh wow, okay. That is so much better than I was expecting. So we marked there actually, I must have missed somehow. But, well there's the old, you know, that old yellowish. And, relax it here. There we go. Oh, there's the difference. I can't believe that. That's a it's a great job. See, I don't know what to do because they spray in here. They get this done. I'm gonna have to, aren't they? It's gonna just look stupid. But I don't want to ruin this here. It's a pity. But yeah, we'll give that a spray here, um, and then I'll put another coat on the rest of everything else, and then another coat on this, because well, that's a great job. I just brightened it all up. Okay, so that's it all spread on the inside. I've used the full can on the second coat there. Hopefully, fingers crossed the inside is okay and I won't need to buy an old car I can see myself £19 but if I need it I need it it's fine um, but we'll check back in an hour or two once it's all dried and see how well it's done <laughs> 